Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for September. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading is for September. It's being recorded in the middle of August so when you watch it, it may not resonate. A lot of people don't get that and I have to explain it over and over and over again. Um, September. This may resonate at this time but it, you know, we're talking about September. Um, but it could be from now until the end of September. Timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. So what have we got for Capricorn? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Now the first card I saw was the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is overwhelmed. You may be so busy with work, so busy with life, life so busy with everything that you can't see something. Like those wands, okay, those wands are in front of your face and you can't see, you can't see something because you're so overwhelmed, you're so busy, you're working so hard, you're, or you've got so much on your mind, or you're so burdened by something that you, you know, you're not seeing a situation clearly. If, if something is right, you know, if, some, if there's a barrier of some sort, then you might not be able to see something. Then the next card I saw was the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups, you may not be seeing that there's an opportunity for love here. Okay, you may be reluctant. You may be reluctant because you know you got work to do. You got too much other stuff on your mind. You got other things. You know you're overwhelmed. Okay, you got too much going on right now. You're too busy for love. Whatever. But there's an opportunity for love. The two of cups. So there's an opportunity for a union here, a partnership of some sort, with somebody that you are probably very compatible with. Then I saw the chariot. Where the chariot? You could be dealing with a cancer. I'm not sure, but um, the, ch the chariot is about headed in the right direction. It's about putting yourself in the driver's seat. It's about mastering your emotions, about discipline. It's about um, taking back control of your life. So I feel like it's about replacing that fear with faith, the chariot. So I feel like you are moving very quickly in a new direction. You're probably moving so fast that you can't see that there's an opportunity for love. Okay? Just got to be honest with you. Or, you know, you're so overwhelmed that you're not focusing enough on a partnership because I can see that. You're just moving very, very quickly. Um, expect the unexpected, okay? Expect the unexpected. I saw 555. Five, five. So 555 five, five is expect the unexpected. Um, let go of the old and bring in the new. Perhaps you're bringing in the new. You're bringing in something new and the challenge is to let go of the old. You may be struggling. Um, with this change, fives are about life change and life choices. So you may have to um, find your mental strength to let go of something and let something new begin. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a union, a partnership here, but you, you, you're so busy that you might be missing it or you're so overwhelmed with some past burden that you need to let go of. So Capricorn, what do we got? Things are about to look up. I just saw the Nine of Cups. Deep fulfillment is coming. I think that you, if you are single, if you're single, you're going to meet a real love very soon. If you are in a coupled relationship, things may be starting to get better. You know, I think that uh, some sort of wish perhaps has been granted or it's about to be granted. This could be a subconscious wish, okay? Death. Death. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with um, a Libra because Libra got this card as the first card as well. I could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm not sure, but this is a transformation, and the Chariot card is a transformation as well. So we have a, we have a transformation an ending that allows a new beginning. And you don't know I told you about five five five. Um, let go of the old and bring in the new. So you have a new beginning here. You do have a new beginning here, but I think that you guys are needing to take back control of your life, okay? That is you, and, and in reverse, this is great. This is taking back control. This is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. So I feel like this is a month of breaking free from an unhealthy situation, and there's an opportunity to start fresh, start over, um, have a new beginning here. So this is a new beginning for you. Um, endings bring new beginnings, so I think that there is some sort of situation that has ended or it is coming to an end that is giving you an opportunity to release and change your path and head towards victory and success because that's what the chariot is, victory and success. 
So this ending, this death, whatever it is, um, is giving you a rebirth. It's, it's giving you this new opportunity for a, a transition. Okay, this is a transition. Um, it, the tower reversed. It goes like this. King of Cups reversed, the tower reversed, um, emotionally withdrawn in the past, this is the very past, this is, I think that you have been emotionally withdrawn, holding on to a false sense of security, maybe not really focusing, maybe, yeah, not really focusing, right, on love, I think that you may have made some poor decisions, and now you're taking back control. Okay, the devil reversed again. So you're in the process of taking back control, breaking free from something that was emotionally fulfilling, was false. It was a false sense of security. This this is a this is a major life change. I think we have somebody that's been avoiding realignment and it's cost them some money, it's cost them some stability. It's, there's been some insecurities here. You may have been holding on to this false sense of security because it was something to hold on to, but I feel like you guys are realizing that it is unhealthy and you're breaking free from it. it could have been a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Life is changing, Capricorn. This is the Wheel of Fate, and this is a fated event as well. And we have some major influences here. This is a cycle. So a cycle is coming to an end and a new cycle is beginning. And this is destiny. Ten of Cups. New relationship. I think that you guys are about to find happiness, peace, serenity. This is your pot of gold. This is your pot of gold. So yeah, you guys are about to... Uh, I mean, this is fantastic. And you guys are receiving an uh, an opportunity for love. This is an offer of love. Somebody could be coming towards you with some love. Right now. Focusing on a relationship. But I think this is a new relationship. A change. Okay. I think. And you're going to have to face your insecurities. I mean this is. Look at this. This is two people coming together in love. Take a look at that. So you guys are, I, you know, what the hell is this? Five of Wands, there's some sort of conflict. There's some sort of... Battle of some sort. Indecision, perhaps. Moving on, you're moving to a better place. You're leaving the trouble behind. So I feel like, I mean, this is a card of competition as well. You're ready to fight for it. I, I, You know, it really feels as though, you know, your challenge is finding your confidence, not letting whoever it is that you were dealing with hold you back. You may have been dealing with a Debbie Downer, somebody that needs constant attention and constant sympathy that has held you back. Um, they may use, you know, they may put, they may use guilt trips on you. Um... Whoever this person was, I don't think they were emotionally available. They may be dealing with another person, a water sign or a fire sign. They're, they may be dealing with somebody else. They may be in a relationship with somebody else. And maybe you're deciding to just move on from it. You're deciding to leave it behind. Um, I do see you guys headed towards... Uh, happiness. You guys are moving away from an unhealthy situation. That's what we got here. And I feel like we have somebody that is coming in with something very, very emotionally fulfilling for you. It's like this person wants to have a relationship with you. And I feel like you may feel like with this five of wands, you may feel like there's, there's, there's tension. You may feel tense about this change. You may feel like, you know, you may feel like this is too good to be true, you know. Um, I think you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Libra. Another Capricorn. You probably, you may have been dealing with a uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in the past or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the past that... Oh, 
God, this person may have been miserable, you know, lazy. Uh, they didn't communicate. They may have used silent treatment as a tool, you know. They didn't communicate well. They may have tried to play, the, you know, the guilt trip on you. And I feel as though... Um, You've been holding on to this person, trying to work it out. Some, or they've been holding on to you. This could go vice versa. Somebody's been holding on to a dead end. Um, and that's unfair. That, that's an injustice. I think that you have been dealing with some sort of bad karma. And I think that you've been trying really, really, really hard to fix something that just isn't fixable and I feel like now you've come to a point where it's time to move on from this dead end there's no compatibility there there's no there's no compatibility there and I think that you have another option I think I do I think that you have another option that you would be better suited for I feel like yeah you gotta this is your new enterprise a new option that is exactly what this is so you will have a new opportunity here that could really be solid it could be stable it could it could it's a big opportunity it's an opportunity to start over start fresh a ten of pentacles build a foundation with somebody ten of pentacles right over the ten of cups you may be you know uh, building a new foundation with somebody that could lead to something really long term something really 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 long term um and it starts, this is just the beginning. This is just the very beginning. So this is the time where, I mean, 10, 10, 10, you have a new cycle. You have one cycle of your life that is coming to an end. And a new cycle is beginning. And whatever this is, it's going to lead you to happiness. A, a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you comfort. It's going to bring you stability. And this is the very beginning. This is the very beginning. So I feel like you have probably given up, given up, holding on to somebody that you were putting a lot of effort into. It was a dead end situation. I feel like you have decided to retreat. You've decided to close yourself off emotionally to this person and give your love to somebody else. And I feel like whoever this is meant to be, this is faded. This is a faded change, of course. This needed to crumble. This was a necessary evil. This false foundation needed to crumble because it was false. It wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. It wasn't meant to last. This is the reason the Wheel of Fortune is a purpose. Whatever is happening is good luck. It's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is what is meant to happen. So I feel like you guys are about to start a, on a new path from the very beginning. I think this is the very beginning of something that could lead to extreme happiness, comfort, uh, even moving in together, um, a happy home. This this is two people that are can really work together. This is a this is a this is a very compatible partnership. Put it that way. So I feel like you guys are headed towards something that is is divinely meant to be. Okay, this is this is fated. I think that you're you have this new opportunity that is that you're at the very beginning. I think that you have decided to accept the new opportunity and let go of the false contract. You know, this is a false contract. This is a false contract with somebody that was very uh, This person was probably lazy, uh, you know, um pit, poor poor pitiful me kind of energy, whatever that is. And I think that you're moving on. You're moving on from the false contract. And I think that you're no longer looking at the dead end. So uh, that's what I see. I feel like, you know, you you are making a judgment call. You are making a judgment call to release. I just happened to look down to release. That is what this is. And it's another 10-10. We have all these tens, completion, 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 acceptance, ab absolution, release, forgiveness, an awakening, an epiphany, it's time to live again. I'm telling you why it is. You guys are about to start on a new path from the very beginning with somebody that you could 
be with for a very, 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 very long time. This is a, this is a perfect match. This is working together with this person. This is your, this is your, that's your wish. That is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I mean, this is it. I'm not trying to fluff it up. I don't like fluff, but I'm telling you right now, this is, this is an awakening. You guys are about to wake up from whatever this slumber is, the, the death that you've experienced, the near death experience. You're about to wake up and live again. So congratulations. This is the very beginning. Good luck.